guys, what's up? It's Audra and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I figured it was only fair that since we were going on tour and we're about to go on a huge road trip across the country and we have done this before, I figured it would be a cool idea to tell you guys my road trip tips and tricks from somebody who has been on the road. Not as much as other people, but still a lot. So I'm gonna give you 10 tips um, that I use when I'm getting ready for a huge road trip like the one we're about to go on. Um, or any road trip at all. It's just a good list to kind of know about and then you can use it for whatever you want. So let's get into it. Number one, this is my biggest tip for road trips is stay hydrated. I know I'm so guilty of this, that's why I say it. When we get on to road trips, I don't drink water because I'm like, then I'm gonna have to stop to go to the bathroom. It's gonna be this big hassle. You know, you're in the car for that long. You don't wanna just keep getting in and out, in and out. Don't, don't worry about it. Just stop and just drink water. Especially for us, because we're traveling to go play shows, it's really important that I'm like staying hydrated, keeping my voice, you know, healthy. And that is one thing I'm hugely, hugely guilty of when we're gone. So that is my number one tip. If you're gonna take anything out of this video, it's that. Number two, if you are traveling with somebody else, which if it's a huge road trip, obviously it will be, figure out your driving shifts. So for Concrete Castles, we have a really good idea of where we are all good at driving. So Sam's really good at driving in the morning, I'm really good at doing the middle like afternoon shift, and Matt's really good at driving at night. So figure out basically where your strengths are, um, because Sam doesn't drive at night. He gets tired, he falls asleep easily, not letting him drive at night, right? I don't like driving super early in the morning, but I don't like driving it super late at night. Matt loves driving late at night. So for us, it just happens to work out really great because we all have very different schedules. Um, but that is very important when it comes to road tripping. Even if you have to switch off, you know, every other day or something, but make sure you know how you're going to schedule yourselves. Number three, bring sunscreen. You don't think you're gonna get sunburnt in a car, but I promise you, you will. Because if you're going somewhere warm, that sun's gonna be beating in through the window the whole entire time you're driving, and it's gonna sneak up on you because it has happened to me and it sucks. So I'm not gonna let it happen to you. Bring sunscreen. Number four, bring a pillow and blanket. Oh my gosh, I cannot stress this enough. Please, please just do it. Even if you don't think you have room, you do have room for a pillow because you're gonna wanna sleep in the car and it's gonna be so much more comfortable and you're gonna sleep better if you have a pillow and a blanket to snuggle up with while you're in the car instead of putting your head on a window and it's just bouncing off the window every time you go over a bump. You don't want that, trust me, you don't. You just wanna get a good sleep if you're in the car. So bring a pillow, you can spare the extra room for a singular pillow, hold it on your lap for all I care, but you definitely, definitely need to bring it. Number five, have your playlist ready. Have a playlist ready for every mood. Have a playlist ready for if you're about to get tired and you need something to hype you up, or if you're driving late at night and you just want something to chill, right? Doesn't mean you have to make the playlist, look online for them. They're all over on Spotify. Find a road trip playlist and I promise you, you will enjoy it. It helps, you know, get the mood together. If you're going on a road trip with your friends, make a playlist with your friends that all of you guys like and play it on the road trip, or find a playlist online that's like, Road trip playlist. I'm sure they exist, right? They have to exist. I'm gonna look after this and I'll let you know, but I'm pretty sure they exist. It has to exist. Number six, don't just buy junk food. When you're getting ready to go on a trip and it's excessively long, um, or even if it's not, there's other things that you can take in the car that aren't just chips. Obviously, you still want some. You want that snackiness, right? Understandable. So do I. But there are other things you can get for in the car that are so much better and will make you feel better. Because already you're going to feel gross from just sitting in a car for hours on end. So you might as well get something that makes you feel good to like eat and like drink. You know what I mean? Bring water, bring whatever you want. Pops, juices, okay, whatever. But get fruit. Get like fruit that's easy to eat. Oranges, apples, peaches, all that stuff, you know, that you don't have to like cut up or like it's annoying. Um, get trail mix, get granola bars, get, this time I got applesauce and pudding. You don't have to keep it in a cooler, you can just keep it in the car and I got spoons, plastic spoons to bring so we can just eat that instead of eating like chips for breakfast, you know? Um, so that is rule number six, get food that aren't, isn't just junk food because you will be so much happier. Number seven, along with the sunscreen, bring sunglasses. If you're anything like me, you your eyes will die by the time that you're done driving and you will have to wear sunglasses and it's so, sometimes I get annoyed wearing sunglasses because I'm like, oh my God, this drives me nuts. I don't want them sitting on my nose anymore. 
but it's so worth it because my eyeballs literally will be in pain by the time we are done driving. So please, please bring your sunglasses. Number eight, uh, bring an extra bag for overnights and laundry. So let me explain this rule. So when we travel, especially for tour, I have a huge suitcase with all of my clothes in it for like all the important stuff. But when we're darting out of hotels, you know, on the rest of the trip, you wanna have something that's quick and easy that you can just grab and like take with you like instantly. So bring up a, a small book bag, a small duffel bag, something that you can put overnight clothes in that you can just grab and bring into a hotel so you don't have to dig through your whole entire suitcase um, when you're, you know, going to stay over somewhere. Keep a spare, like, sweatshirt, pajamas, toothpaste, you know, like, quick things that you can just pick up, throw on your book bag, go into a hotel, sleep, and then leave. Um, because you're not going to want to drag your suitcase in every single night. Um... Obviously, there are some nights where I do drag my suitcase in. I don't like leaving it in the car like that. But still, dragging it in compared to having to unpack it and dig stuff out is so much worse. So drag your suitcase in, but don't dig through it. Don't open it up. You're just gonna, it's gonna be a hassle. So just bring a bag, bring an extra bag. Then you can put your overnight stuff in there. You can put dirty laundry in there so it's not with all of your other stuff. There's many, many options for this. Number nine, if you're anything like me, you will need motion sickness medicine. That is my go-to um, for traveling. Because even if you don't get motion sickness, there's probably a day where you're gonna wake up, you're not gonna feel great, and you're not gonna wanna be sitting in a car while somebody else is driving. So I always have it. Um, or there's like, if you don't like taking medicine, there's other things you can do that help with that. There's some like essential oils that you like put behind your ears and stuff that will help with motion sickness. And there's actually like a cream or something. I don't know. I used to have that too. Um, that you put like behind your ears and like on your wrist and it helps with motion sickness if you don't like taking medicine. So I highly, highly suggest looking into that because that is a lifesaver for me. Last but not least, number 10, you have the radio rule. This is very important for me, Matt and Sam, when we are traveling. When you are driving, you have control over the radio, and nobody can complain. You can listen to whatever you want, you can do whatever you want, you don't have to listen to anything, but when you're driving, you're in charge of the radio. And if you want to ask somebody else, hey, you guys want to listen to anything? Hey, you want to do this? Fine. But you can't get mad at them for listening to anything, and truly, that has helped us so much. We never, ever complain about what anybody is listening to while we're traveling because we just know we know hey they're driving they're turning with the radio so that's why you need to be prepared you have a certain window of when you can listen to your stuff you know get it ready have have a plan matt likes to listen to basketball podcasts sam likes to listen to math podcasts i like to listen to music i don't like to listen to podcasts but you know what i listen to podcasts because they want to listen to podcasts um but obviously with the radio rule, you wanna bring headphones. If you don't wanna to listen to what they're listening to, throw in headphones. We do that, we do that all the time. Um, but sometimes it's fun to listen to what everybody else is listening to. Well, we were on tour, I caught myself with my headphones in listening to music, listening to Matt's basketball podcast over the music because I was interested in it. So you never know, you might find something new that you like if you're traveling with a bunch of people. Even if you think you know them well, you don't know them that well, not until you travel across the country with them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Those are my 10 road trip tips. Um, let me know if any of these help you or if you do any of these already. I'd love to, I'm curious to see what you guys do um, if you take road trips. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure you leave it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss an upload every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye, see you next week.